it's Miss Hines. Welcome to Remote Drama. Today we're going to act out all about cars. So first, let's take out our regular eyes. Put them in your pocket. Take out your drama eyes. Blow them off. Put them in with a bing. Bing! Bing! Let's find our space bubble. Find your zipper. Uh-oh. <laughs> Mine's stuck again. I'm going to spray some spray. Shh! That makes it go super fast. Zip! How about my front zipper? <laughs> Mine's stuck again. Is yours? If it's stuck, spray some spray. Shh! And it makes it go super duper fast. Zip! Good. Now we're in our space bubble. Remember, this is our acting space, so we don't want to run across the room over to one of our friends. We just want to stay right in our own space while we're acting today. All right, let's say, on the double, my space bubble. Good. Show me how we don't want to be in drama. We don't want to be all sloppy, 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 right? What do we want to be? We want to be in audience mode. All right, great. Well, we are ready to do some acting. So we're first going to warm up our actor tools. And our first actor tool is our body. And we're going to use our body to pretend that we're driving in a car because I told you today we're gonna do all our acting about cars. So we're going to listen to a song and in the song, there's some actions that we're gonna act out. So in the car, in the song, we're gonna act like we're driving in our car. So right now, pretend you have a steering wheel and you're using it to drive. And then at some point in the song, you're gonna have a red light. So you're gonna use your foot and you're gonna move your foot over and pretend to put it on the brake like this. And then it makes you stop at the red light, okay? And um, also in our car, we have a horn. And when we honk our horn, it goes beep, 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 beep. Can you make your horn go beep, 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 beep? Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Good. There's also some windshield wipers. So when we get to the windshield wipers, we'll use our hands like this to look like the windshield wipers and they go swish, 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 swish. Okay, try it with me. Swish, 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 swish. Great. And there's also a muffler. A muffler makes a lot of noise like this. So when we do muffler, let's hear everybody try it with me. Good, that's the muffler. And then we're gonna say hi to some friends. We're gonna roll down our window. We're gonna say hi, 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 hi. Everybody say hi and wave. Okay, all right, I'm gonna put the song on and I'm going to act it out. And I want you to act it out right along with me. All right, here we go. Drive your car. Driving in my car. Driving in my car. Driving all the way to Minneapolis in my car. Red light stop. Sound is a car horn, baby. Beep, beep. That's right. Let's sing the song with our car horns. Beep, 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 beep. Beep, 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 beep. Beep, 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 beep.
All right, good job. That was driving in my car to warm up our actor tool of our body. Now let's warm up our voices. So I have a poem for you and I'm going to say a line and then you'll repeat it. And it's all about a car too. All right, here we go. Repeat after me until I say stop. My dad's old car. Rattle, hum, hiss, bang. This car has got to go. It really is quite sick. It huffs and puffs and blows. Crackle. Whiz. Cough. Please. I think it's going to stop. We've got, we've just gone round a corner and the engine fell right out. Thud. And stop. I like that poem because it has some funny sound effects. Do you remember some of the sound effects? Crackle, whiz, <coughs> cough, sneeze. I think it'd be funny if a car was making sneezing and coughing noises and then the engine fell out. That was an old, old car. I used to have a car like that and I was always worried to drive it because I was always worried that it would stop working and a lot of times it did. All right. We're gonna warm up our imagination today using GAC. Do you remember my GAC? So remember, to use the GAC, you have to make sure you have your drama eyes in and it's kind of like silly putty can bounce. It's kind of like Play-Doh or clay. But the really cool thing about GAC is that you can make it into whatever you want. Anything your imagination can think of. You can stretch it out really big and make something really, really big. Or you can just use a little tiny piece and make something really, really tiny like a little grain of rice. So here, I'm gonna pretend through the screen and I'm gonna give all of you some gack. Okay, here it comes, ready, catch it. Did you catch it? Oh, if you dropped it, pick it up. <laughs> it's okay. All right, let's stretch it out. Oh, cool. Let's stretch it this way. Whoa, can we use a lot of GAC? All right, now get it really small. Roll it like a bouncy ball. Did you get it like a bouncy ball? Now pretend to bounce it and catch it. Oh, can you bounce it two times and catch it? Boing, boing. Oh, if you dropped it, pick it up. <laughs> it's okay. Let's try and bounce it three times and catch it. Ready? Boing, boing, boing. Did you catch yours? If you didn't, go get it. All right. Let's make a car key because we are doing cars today. So I'm going to flatten my gack out like a pancake. And I'm going to make the round part of the key and then the part that has like the, the triangles cut out. And I'm going to flatten it. Hold up your car key. Maybe you made a big giant car key. Maybe you made a regular size or maybe you made the teeny tiny car key. Pretend to put it in the engine of a car and vroom, you started it up. All right, good, squish up that gack. Let's make a steering wheel out of our gack. All right, I'm gonna need a lot of gack for this. I'm gonna use blue gack. I want a blue steering wheel. What color are you gonna use? Okay, whatever color it is, take it, and I'm gonna make it like this, and then I'm just gonna kinda wind it around. I think I need a horn in the middle. 
Do you want a horn? If you want a horn, put one in the middle. Beep, beep. All right, use your gaff steering wheel. Good. All right, squish up that gaff. You missed a piece. <laughs> hmm, I'm going to make windshield wipers. This time I'm going to make them black. I don't know why, but I think windshield wipers are almost always black for some reason. So I'm going to use my black gaff, and I'm going to make one windshield wiper, put it up on the car, make my other windshield wiper. All right, and I'm going to make them swish, 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 swish. All right, great. Okay, I'm going to make one more thing. Whenever I go on a long drive, I always like to have a drink. I always get so thirsty in the car. So I'm going to make a water bottle. You could make a cup or a water bottle or whatever you want to drink. Maybe a carton of juice, a carton of milk, whatever you want. Maybe lemonade or whatever you want to drink. Make that. I'm making a water bottle. I'm going to make some ice cubes. Put them into my water bottle. Put the top on. I have a straw. Mm. I'm ready for my road trip with my ice water. And I put it in my cup holder. <laughs> All right, so we made lots of things today out of our GAC. Let's take our GAC and squish it back up and put it in our pocket because we're gonna um, do some more acting with cars today. But don't forget, you can always use your GAC to play with anytime, maybe at recess, or maybe if you're on a long car trip, if you're riding in the car, you could um, take your GAC out and pretend to make different things. You can have people guess what you made, or you can just make some different things for yourself and pretend with them. So. GAC is a really great way to use your imagination. So don't forget that you just need your drama eyes in and you can always play with your GAC. All right, so um, the first thing that we're going to act out with cars today is called the car wash. Now, we just pretended um, for the song that we were driving the car and we were ourselves, but this time, I want you to pretend that you are a car. <laughs> yes, you're not a person anymore. You're now a car. And I want you to imagine what color you are. What color car would you be? Hmm, you could be red or black or silver. Um, any color that you've seen a car, or maybe you want to be a really creative car. Like maybe you want to be a rainbow car, or maybe you want to be a glow in the dark car, or maybe you want to be like a sparkle car. So imagine what color you are, and you're turning this color, and <coughs> I want you to imagine what kind of car are you? Um, are you a big car? Are you a medium size? Are you a little car? And <clears throat> what type of car are you? Are you a sports car? A hot rod? Are you an SUV, a big SUV? Are you a family car? Are you a car from the olden days, from long ago? All right, so you're turning into metal and you have four wheels. Inside, you have seats, you have the engine, you have all the car parts. Let's fill up the car with gas so it can go. Um, 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 um. All right, now, pretend that somebody put the key in the ignition and is driving you. And you're driving along, and you hear this. Someone driving the car is trying to say something. What are they saying? They said, my car is so dirty. They called us dirty. That's not very nice, but maybe it's true. Yeah, if you haven't had a car wash in a while, I wonder if they're gonna take us in the car wash. Now, a car wash to a car is kind of like a bath for um, kids. Now, some of you might like a bath, 
It's fun. You play in the tub. Some of you might be like, no, you don't like a bath. So think about your yourself as a car. Would you like to take a bath as a car? Or would you be like, no. So react to that. Either no or yay, finally, I love to be clean. <laughs> well, either way, they drive into the car wash. And they put the money in and they drive in. And first thing that happens is all this water gets splashed on you. Now again, you might like it, like, ah, oh, get all that dirt off. That feels so great. Or you might be like, oh, water, it's cool. I don't like it. Get to my eyes. Maybe your eyes are the, are the headlights. Well, just when you thought the worst was over, all of a sudden some suds come down. Soap. All of this soap covers you. Whatever color you are, now you're just white, bubbly suds. And, oh my, some giant brushes. They're cleaning you all off. Oh, the brushes are done, but now some sponges. They sponge up all the soap and all the water. And it's time for a rinse. More water. Well, now it's time to get dried off. There's heat coming out kind of like a hair dryer. It's drying all the water. <gasps> Whoa, even if you didn't like that car bath, now you are a clean, clean, clean car. And you are ready to drive and go wherever the humans want you to go. <laughs> the end, that was the end of the car wash. All right, well next, we're going to act out a story. So. This is a story that maybe you've heard before, or maybe you haven't heard it before. And if you haven't heard it before, you really should read the book. It's such a funny book, and it has great pictures in it. We'll watch um, a movie of it at the end of the drama video today, but it is a great book to read. You could find it on Amazon. You could get it at the library. And the name of the book is Tooth Nasher Super Flash. That's a weird title, isn't it? Tooth Nasher Super Flash. Hmm. Interesting title for a book. Well, this book is all about a family that needs to buy a new car. And there are lots of kids in the family. I think it's like five kids in the family. Now, this book was written um, a long time ago before kids had to sit in um, car seats in the back. So in this story, the kids are sitting in the back. So if we were to rewrite the story today, we'd make sure that the kids that needed to were sitting in their car seats. And um, when we act out the story, we'll put on our seatbelt or we'll get into our car seat just to be safe. So um, that's always something interesting when we watch this story because um, we it was written so long ago, it was before we used to have to do that. And when I was a kid, we didn't even have to do that. It's lucky that I'm still here, that I was never in a car accident because I didn't sit in a car seat when I was your age, which I probably should have. But anyway, so we um, are gonna act like we are going on a test ride for a car. So if you've ever bought a new car, when you go to the car dealership or wherever you buy the car, they usually will let you drive the car to see if you like it. So we're gonna pretend that we have an old car that kind of like the car in the, um, in the poem that we did in the beginning with our voice. Um, and that car, remember, the, made all those funny noises and then the engine fell out. So pretend that's our car and we need to go buy a new car. So we see a big sign on the road that says car sale today. So we think, hey, let's go. Let's try and see if we can buy a new car. So we go um, to test drive and there's a salesperson there. And the salesperson says, hello, may I help you? And you say, yes, I'd like to buy a car. You say that. All right, uh, I think you might like this uh, Tooth Nasher Super Flash car. Give kind of a puzzled look, like, what? 
You've never ever heard of a car called Tooth Nasher Super Flash. That sounds so silly, but you're super curious. You decide that you want to test drive this car. So you can be yourself or you can be a grown up. So if you're the grown up, you're gonna get in the front seat and put on your seatbelt. If you're yourself or um, you're pretending to be a different child, then you can sit in the back seat and you can get into the car seat. Click, click. And all right, the salesman comes with us and uh, the salesperson is driving the car and uh, it's going pretty well at first. Let's see, let's stop at a red light. Okay, the brakes work, that's good. Let's turn on the signal and make a right turn. Click, 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 click. Yeah, that works. Left turn, click, 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 click. Wow, that works pretty good too. Uh, let's honk the horn. Beep, 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 beep. The horn works. Turn on the radio. La, 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 la. Yeah, let's turn the station. Oh, 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 oh talk radio. Oh, let's turn that off. Well, everything seems to work pretty good. <gasps> Whoa, all of a sudden on the dashboard, you see some buttons and there's a blue one. And you say, what does the blue button do? Hmm, what does the blue button do? Should we press it? Okay, why don't you pretend to press the blue button? All of a sudden we hear, we hear all this noise. Uh oh, what's happening? The car is changing. It is changing color. It's turning gray. Huh, weird. It's growing a trunk. And, and it's got four large legs and a head and big long ears. Do you know what the car turned into? An elephant! You are no longer in a car. You are now riding in an elephant. Thud, 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 thud. Well, this is a really cool car. No wonder it has such a cool name, Tooth Nasher Super Flash. Hmm, this is really, really fun. Well, I wonder <coughs> what some of these other buttons do. Do you see all the other buttons? There's some other colored buttons. Let's try out the red button. Okay, pretend to press it. <coughs> okay, the car is now changing color. It's turning green. It's, it's wheels are disappearing and it's growing legs, giant legs. It's growing teeth and it's growing spikes. Oh, the car has turned into a dinosaur. Whoa, this Tooth Nasher Super Flash car is the coolest car ever. It can turn into an elephant. It can turn into a dinosaur. I think we should buy this car. Hmm, but before we do, let's try out some more of the buttons. Let's press this yellow button. Whoa, the car is turning oh, a brownish green color. It's growing a big giant shell and four little legs. The car is turning into a turtle. Well, that's cool, but boy, it sure drives slow when it's a turtle. Maybe we should press another button. Okay, let's press the green button. <gasps> oh, it's making a hissing noise. Oh, whoa, it's growing some skin. Oh, it's getting long and skinny. We're riding inside of a snake. Oh, I don't like snakes. Let's push another button. Let's push the blue one. Bing. Whoa, it's growing some brown fur. It, it, it's starting to hop. It has a pouch with a baby in it. What did it turn into? A kangaroo. This car is so fun. I love this Tooth Nasher Super Flash. I love to bounce around in a car that is a kangaroo. Well, 
There's a couple more buttons though. Let's try the purple one. Beep. Whoa, it's getting huge. It's turning blue. It, it, it's swimming. It has grown into a giant whale. I wonder if the whale could go in the water and be like a boat. Oh, this is the coolest car ever. I really hope we can buy this car. Oh, there's one more button. Should we press it? It's the last one. This whale is fun. You could go swimming. I'm so curious, are you? Let's press the last button. It's the black button. Beep! What is that noise? It sounds like a chicken. It is a chicken. The car is growing white feathers. What is that? Wings, it's growing wings. And, and it has a beak. What is the car doing? <gasps> it's flying. It is flying. We are in the sky. We are flying. Whoa. Where is it going? Oh, it's turning around. I think we're heading back to the car dealership. <gasps> we have to decide. Should we buy this car? Nod your head yes if we should or shake your head no if we shouldn't. Well, I'm very adventurous. I think we should buy this car. I don't care how much this car costs. I really, really, really want to buy this Tooth Nasher Super Flash car. All right, so we get back to the car dealership and the salesperson says, how did you like the car? Oh, we love it. We say we love it. Um, can you take a credit card? And the salesperson says, yes. So you give them your credit card, they give you the keys, you sign all the papers, and you are the new owner of the Tooth Nasher Super Flash car. I wonder if it has any other buttons on it that we didn't discover. So you can keep acting out this story, you can pretend there's some different buttons, and it can turn into anything your imagination can think of. Maybe a spaceship? Um, maybe a submarine, maybe some different kind of animals. It could turn into whatever you could think of, an airplane. And you can imagine all the different things that your new car could do. So I hope you enjoyed acting out the story of Tooth Nasher Super Flash. We're now going to watch the story. So remember that it takes a minute for me to get it set up and you will not see me, but you will still hear me. And we will watch the, um, this is a version of a show called Reading Rainbow where they used to um, read aloud some stories. And they're gonna do a cartoon of the Tooth Nasher Super Flash. So don't forget to look for that book because I think you would really enjoy reading the story of Tooth Nasher Super Flash. All right, here we go with the read aloud. Give it one second while I get it ready. Look at these fart plugs I just pulled out. They're too dirty to fire up the engine right. Boy, this car definitely needs some attention. You know, most of the time when cars come in here, I pretty much know what to expect, but I'm not sure what I'd do if I had to work on the car in this book. It's called the Tooth Nasher Super Flash. Tooth Nasher Super Flash by Daniel Pinkwater. Read by Victoria Jackson. Mr. Pop Snorkel decided it was time to buy a new car. His old car, a green thunderclap eight, was just about worn out. So, Mr. Pop Snorkel and Mrs. Pop Snorkel and five little Pop Snorkels all got into the worn out green thunderclap eight and went looking for a nice new car. They drove down to the highway where all the car dealers were 
and looked at all the signs and shining new cars in the windows. Look! shouted the five little pop snorkels. The Tough Masher Super Flash! That's a great car! It certainly is, said Mrs. Pop Snorkel. And it's such a pretty color. Mr. Pop Snorkel turned into the parking lot of the Tooth Masher Super Flash car dealer. A salesman came out. I am Mr. Sandy, said the car salesman. May I show you the Tooth Nasher Super Flash? We have only one left. Mr. Pop Snorkel and Mrs. Pop Snorkel and the five little Pop Snorkels and Mr. Sandy all got into the Tooth Nasher Super Flash. Mr. Sandy drove and Mr. Pop Snorkel sat next to him. Mrs. Pop Snorkel and the five little Pop Snorkels all sat in the back seat. See how smooth it rides? Mr. Sandy asked. We love this car! shouted the five little pop snorkels. Buy it, Daddy, buy it! It is such a beautiful light blue, Mrs. Pop Snorkel said. Um, would it be all right if I drove the car for a while? Mr. Pop Snorkel asked Mr. Sandy. Mr. Sandy pulled over to the side of the road and got out and opened the door for Mrs. Pop Snorkel, who got in the front seat with Mr. Pop Snorkel, who had moved over behind the steering wheel. Mr. Sandy got in the back seat with the five little Pop Snorkels. Yay! shouted the five little Pop Snorkels. Daddy's gonna drive the Tooth Nasher Super Flash! <gasps> Mr. Pop Snorkel started the Tooth Nasher Super Flash. It roared out onto the highway. The tires squealed. Other drivers honked their horns. Yay! The five little pop snorkels shouted. Perhaps you shouldn't drive quite so fast until you're used to the car, Mr. Sandy said. What does this button do? Mr. Pop Snorkel asked as he pushed a button on the dashboard. The Tooth Nasher Super Flash rose up on its rear wheels and zoomed along the highway with its nose high in the air. Hmm, this is very nice, Mr. Pop Snorkel said. What does this button do? He pushed another button and the car began to rock from side to side on its rear wheels. And then the rear wheels turned into little legs and the car turned into a dinosaur running on its hind legs. Hmm, said Mr. Pop Snorkel. I like a car that turns into a dinosaur. Hmm, what does this button do? And he pushed another button. The dinosaur put his nose down near the road and began to run on all fours. And then the Tooth Nasher Super Flash turned into a galloping elephant. <laughs> Yay! The five little Pop Snorkels shouted. It turns into an elephant, too, dear, Mrs. Pop Snorkel said to Mr. Pop Snorkel. And it's such a lovely color. True, Mr. Pop Snorkel said. Now, let's see what this button does. He pushed another button, and the Tooth Masher Super Flash changed from a galloping elephant into a gigantic turtle. My goodness, this is really a good car, Mr. Pop Snorkel said. It turns into a dinosaur and an elephant and a turtle. <laughs> Can it do anything else? I really don't know, said Mr. Sandy. Uh, I've never had a car turn into a dinosaur or an elephant or a turtle before. This is not the way the Truth Nasher Super Flash is supposed to behave. <laughs> Well, it's just the way I think a car should behave, said Mr. Pop Snorkel. The only thing I'd like this car to do besides turning into a dinosaur and an elephant and a gigantic turtle would be to turn into a, a, a huge chicken and fly. <laughs> now, let's see if there's a button that'll do that. Mr. Pop Snorkel found another button on the dashboard and pushed it. Tooth Nasher Super Flash turned into a huge chicken and flew all the way back to the car dealers. This is a first class car, Mr. Pop Snorkel said. We'll take it. Yeah! Shouted the five little Pop Snorkels. It's 
certainly is a lovely color, said Mrs. Popsnorkel. Mr. Sandy said, I never saw a car do any of those things. <gasps> Mr. Popsnorkel and Mrs. Popsnorkel and the five little Popsnorkels traded in their worn-out green thunderclap eights and gave Mr. Sandy lots of money. They drove away in their new blue Tooth Nasher Super Flash. Five little pop snorkels shouted. It really is a lovely color, said Mrs. Pop Snorkel. And it handles very well. It's a nice car, all right, said Mr. Pop Snorkel. But, you know, it can't do half the things our good old Thunderclap 8 could do. Mm -hmm.